guys? I'm Baker Manning and I've been working in the yachting industry on and off since um, 2013 and throughout that time I've worked full-time as a deck stew on a 130-foot Westport and then seasonally on an 80-foot sailing yacht and then most recently I was a deckhand on a charter yacht um, on season 5 of Bravo's reality TV show Below Deck. <laughs> Um, and throughout all of my yachting adventures, I've spent a lot of time in the Caribbean, the Bahamas, Southern Florida, um, New England, and then also Virginia. Um, but let me back it up a little bit and tell you guys about myself before I even knew what a yachty was. <laughs> so my discovery of the yachting industry came at the perfect time in my life i was 25 years old and i was single hungry for adventure and i was also ready for a new chapter in my life at the time i had been living and working abroad ever since i graduated college so over those four years i moved from south carolina to colorado to argentina to lake tahoe california I waited tables, I taught English, I learned Spanish, I became a tour guide and a fitness instructor and um, all of these new experiences, each one brought on a positive transformation and I wanted to continue that journey um, and I had no intention of slowing down anytime soon but while I enjoyed the nomadic lifestyle, I was ready for a little more structure and financial stability and let's just say discipline in my life. So I was kind of at a crossroads and I was beginning to notice that a lot of my friends were, were starting this adulting thing. <laughs> they were settling down, getting real jobs and even getting married and having kids. And as I got older, I felt like there was some kind of growing pressure that I should be doing the same thing, but I knew I wasn't ready for that yet, if ever. Um, but at the same time, I also knew that I wasn't using my skills and capabilities to the fullest potential. So I needed a new challenge, something entirely foreign that I could immerse, my, immerse myself in. <laughs> and that is when I discovered the yachting industry. <laughs> So the personal growth and development that I gained while living and working on a yacht surpassed all of my previous endeavors combined. Um, I came into the wonderful world of yachting feeling capable and confident like I was pretty good at this whole life thing but I learned very quickly that I had a lot to learn about a lot of stuff. <laughs> and that brings us to getting hired. <laughs> So back then, I knew absolutely nothing about working on yachts, but I was willing to do anything to make it happen. And I think that a majority of aspiring yachties are in the same boat. It's like we all have the same goal to get a job on a yacht, but most of us have no clue how to get there. And no matter where we start from or no matter where you start from we all have to take the same general route and pass through the same waypoints and checkpoints to get from point A to C <laughs> and it usually is something like this first you have to get inspired then you relocate to a yachting hub then you're gonna complete training then you have to do lots of networking so that you can begin day working and gaining experience and then you get interviews and hopefully you get hired but as with any journey there's usually more than one way to arrive at your destination some people like to take the most efficient way and then there's people like me and let's just say i took the scenic route if you follow my journey on the map from point a to c you can see that i swerved off course just about every step of the way and although I did eventually reach my destination, I left a lot of mistakes in my wake. <laughs> and, you know, looking back, I could have saved myself a lot of time, effort, money, and embarrassment if I had been more strategic and used the proper knowledge, tools, and techniques to propel me forward. So that is where the Yacht Job Handbook and Yacht Job University come into play. If you follow the steps in these guides, you can streamline your journey and avoid taking the scenic route as I did. 